Hey there, H have you seen my fish? I fed it a while ago and I've been looking for it several times now. I Sorry, I, I suffer from uh, short-term memory loss. Does that last line sound familiar to you? No? Look at these two cute looking fish on your screen. I'm sensing something from your childhood memories. If it reminded you of something about fictional cartoon characters, you're a solid fan of the Pixar movie Finding Dory. Hands up if you are, because this video will feature many Dory family lines you should consider meeting or adding to your tank. Yep, that's right. When I say family line, I'm talking about the best 15 types of tangs in the fish keeping hobby. I won't make you wait any longer, so stay with me until the end of this video. And together, let's find the best tang for our tank, only here at Aquarium Store Depot. One fish species that people are most familiar with is the tang. These fish are well known for their vivid colors and intense movement in aquariums, and because of that scalpel-like spine at the base of their tails, which may do great harm to predators. These fish became known as surgeon fish. Certainly tangs may expel the venom from the scalpel, while others are toxic to consume. Well, they are one good definition of cute but terrible, huh? Lucky for you, although tangs aren't the hardest fish, they're also not the most sensitive, which is a blessing. Each list of prerequisites will be particular to the species because there's such a wide variety of tangs, so better research at your own risk. Apart from that, tangs are generally simple sea fish. As previously said, they can be challenging to acclimate to the tank, but they will thrive if conditions are right. In addition to potential hostility, feeding tangs is more complex than with other reef fish. Most of their demands for herbivorous food will be met by the rockwork in mature coral reefs. You must provide dried algae pieces or a premium marine flake to help them stay healthy in the tank, unless you want them to be hangry. Speaking of hangry, I don't want you to be mad about waiting for the list of these gorgeous fish. That's why I will now start the top 15 list with the yellow tang, like the one on your screen. The yellow tang is a distinctively vivid shade of yellow. These fish require a recommended tank size of 125 gallons, with elaborate rockwork so they may graze on algae and have space to swim. They reach a maximum length of around 8 inches. Although you may keep yellow tangs in schools in extensive systems, they have also been reported to be hostile towards members of their own species and animals that resemble them. However, their hostility towards some members don't make them any less beautiful than they naturally are. Second on our list is the purple tang. Regarding market price, the purple tang has developed into a particularly sought after species over the last few years. These fish from the Western Indian Ocean are a stunning velvety purple blue with a bright yellow tail fin. One may also see deeper horizontal lineations throughout the body upon closer inspection. Purple tangs may grow to a maximum size of around 10 inches, making them more significant than yellow tangs. In a 125 gallon aquarium, they can be housed with yellow tangs with risk of aggression towards each other. Want a fancy fish that will reflect your shiny, shimmering aura? Try the gem tang then. Gem tanks, often referred to as spotted tanks, are the gem of the tank because of their brilliant yellow tail and black body that sparkles with tiny white spots. Sadly, it may be challenging to get these fish, and their unusual look might drive up their price. Otherwise, the husbandry requirements for these fish are the same as those for yellow and purple tanks. Some hobbyists prefer to keep them in larger aquariums as they reach a mature size of 9 inches. Going forth on the list is the mesmerizing beauty of the sailfin. With great lengths of about a foot and a half, and additional height from its enormous sailfins, the sailfin tang is one of the biggest in the zebrasoma genus. The dorsal and anal fins of the sailfin tang are significantly enlarged, hence the name. Simple brown, yellow, and white vertical stripes cover the body of this fish, and the top to bottom fins have a yellow fraying. Sailfin tangs are often less aggressive than the other tangs on this list, but they will still display aggression towards other tangs and fish with similar appearances. After the sailfin tang comes the scopus tangs on your screen. Scopus tangs have a half light brown, half dark black body that gives them a somewhat basic appearance. Nevertheless, you can see tiny iridescent dots all down their flanks up close. Scopus tangs share almost the same characteristics as yellow tangs, although they're not as colorful. While this is unusual in the aquarium hobby, they may grow immensely and reach a maximum height of one foot. This tank species thrives best in a 125 gallon or larger tank because of its mature size, possible aggressiveness, 
activity levels, and herbivorous diet. I always say black is elegant because black tangs prove it's true. The black tang is even more monochromatic but still makes this statement. The scalpel at the base of the tail becomes incredibly obvious on these fish, which are velvety black with an occasionally lighter brown face. The ideal aquarium size for these 9-inch fish is at least 180 gallons, and it's preferable if they're the only tang in the tank or added last. Seventh on our list is the coal tang. The coal tang is a handsome fish, also known as the spotted surgeon fish, bristle tooth tang, and coal golden eye tang. These fish have delicate stripes along the length of their brown bodies and a beautiful golden ring around their eyes. They can reach a maximum size of 7 inches. Coltangs are so named because of their extraordinary capacity to use their teeth to scrape off copious quantities of algae from hard surfaces. These fish have been seen in their natural waters washing sea turtle shells and even setting up stations for tourists who are coated in algae. After the coltang, let's now meet the Tomini tang. What an oddly cute name indeed. One of the minor tang-like fish on this list is the Tomini tang. They appear to be a different, unrelated species due to their highly slender brown bodies yellow tip fins, and white tail fins. These tangs are a small species, only reaching a maximum length of 6 inches, natives to the western central Pacific Ocean. Even though they are tiny, they are nonetheless valuable herbivores that can remove algae from most hard surfaces, and they often exist alone or in small groups. We're far now from the first tang type we featured. Before we even continue, it would be awesome if you gave this video a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be updated with the latest topic related to the fish keeping hobby. Please help us gain more followers to spread important information about the ABCs of fish keeping. Going back on track, this fish is undoubtedly familiar to you. Say hello to the real life dory named the hippo tang. The hippo tang is also known as the dory fish, the blue tang, the hepatic tang, and the royal tang. This schooling fish from the Indo-Pacific has a vivid blue color with yellow pectoral and tail fins. Although many hobbyists have successfully raised blue tangs in aquariums as small as 125 gallons, they may grow to be a foot long and require 180 gallons at full size, but regrettably their prominence has resulted in many unfavorable situations in the aquarium hobby. Once established, these fish are tough, but when first brought to the aquarium, they're particularly susceptible to ick and other ailments. Another blue in the tang family is the powder blue tang. These fish have whitish blue fins, a yellow dorsal fin, and a delicate blue body with black masking. They need an aquarium that holds about 125 gallons and can grow to be 9 inches long. The Indian Ocean is the natural habitat of the powder blue tangs. They're often the only powder species there, excluding powder brown tangs. There, they are typically seen alone or in huge feeding groups. This fish is an ambivert, huh? If our 10th tang is called powder blue, this next fish is called powder brown. Regarding look and behavior, the powder brown tang and the powder blue tang are incredibly similar. Even if they get a little smaller, growing to a maximum length of 8 inches, these fish still require 125 gallons to swim and graze freely. They have a basic but complicated look. They have a primarily light brown body that is yellow at the edges, along with black fin margins and a brilliant tail fin. A stripe of orange runs down the dorsal fin, standing out from the body as a whole. The clown tang is the next fish you'll be interested in. Another tang species on this list with the worst appearance is the clown tang, which is unquestionably one of the most colorful. As their name implies, these fish have alternating yellow, black, and blue stripes with an uncolored underside. At maturity, they reach a height of around 15 inches. Throughout the Indo-Shallow Pacific's reefs, these fish swim in schools, and even though they eat a lot of greens, they occasionally enjoy eating meaty crustaceans. Thirteenth on the list is the Sohal Tang. Only a little less vibrantly colored than the Clown Tang, the Sohal Tang resembles it. These fish keep to the traditional black and white with blue highlights and no yellow accents. They feature a bright yellow tail fin that adds some much needed color. Sohal Tangs require a 250 gallon tank and reach a size similar to Clown Tangs. The next candidate for your tank is the Naso Tang. While importation is now restricted, Naso Tangs are popular among hobbyists. Trading of Hawaiian specimens is strictly controlled, but others may be procured from farther out in the Indo-Pacific. They typically appear in little clusters there. The body color of these fish smoothly transitions from gray to yellowish-orange, giving them a highly distinctive look. Although they can reach about 2 feet, 
they rarely do so in captivity. And finally, this last tang will make you believe that unicorns genuinely exist. Meet the Unicorn Tang. The blue-spined unicorn tang and the blue-short-nosed unicorn tang are the two primary species of unicorn you'll most likely come across in the aquarium hobby. Each fish has a silvery body and a distinctive horn that emerges from the front of its face after reaching a length of around 6 inches. They should only be kept in public aquariums or home aquarium setups larger than 300 gallons because of their size. The horn of this unicorn is a little bit bigger than the blue spine, and these fish need expert tank setups that have a maximum length of 2 feet. All these tanks are wonderful! I might have short-term memory like Dory from the Pixar movie, but these fish's stunning features will remain in my head for eternity! These fish have been crammed into micro-aquariums for a long time without a reliable source of algae, which causes the fish to outgrow their surroundings and starve. Yet with the proper care and companions, any tang will rapidly become the tank's centerpiece. To know more about how you can care for these precious fish, visit our website at AquariumStoreDepot.com, where we posted a particular blog for tangs. You can also read there about the four different species of tangs, their requirements and temperaments, as well as the frequently asked questions about these fish. If you have any questions or want to share your experience, please comment below. Remember also to like this video and subscribe for your regular fishkeeping information. Thanks for watching, fish keepers. Now, wait, where's my fish again?